Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Wotton Bassett in the UK. A few weeks ago we bought a humongous collection of coins and we've unearthed some really rare coins in this collection. This is the third video going through these coins so be sure to go check out the previous two and there's probably going to be one more after this because there are so many coins. Now these coins will filter onto our website and eBay shop and there'll be links in the description of the video so you can go check them out but if you spot something that you like and would like to purchase that's not already listed on our website, feel free to get into contact with us about that. So let's get into these boxes and see what we find. There's quite a lot of these large boxes which I have no idea what's inside them. Executive Proof Collection. Ah, so these are proof coins from 2004. We've got a range of coins, including some commemoratives, Roger Bannister, the 50p, one of the Bridges one pound coin, and the steam locomotive or Trevithic two pound coin in a lovely display box. So we've got a handful of brilliant uncirculated or BU coins. I think this is going to be an Olympic five pound coin to start us off. So yeah, this is the countdown to the Olympic Games, three years, so released in 2009. Whole series of these five pound coins and they're really nice. Next up is the 2014 annual coin set. So we've got the definitive coins to start, and then we've got some commemoratives. So the Commonwealth Games 50p, two of the floral round pound coins, Lord Kitchener and the Trinity House two pound coin, and the Queen Anne five pound coin, a lovely collection. We will just check the Lord Kitchener just in case. So it says two pounds on the bottom of the obverse, which it should. There's the mule arrow, which doesn't, which is always worth checking out for. We've got the Queen's Golden Wedding Anniversary Crown. We've had a few of these throughout this collection. Again, it's got the lovely dual portrait of the two of them and the heraldic arms as well. 1983, including the new one pound coin. 1983 uh, should be the two pence coin as well. So it says two pence on it. Uh, 1983 is when it ticked over and should no longer say new pence on it. So uh, some of the two pences from 1983 do say new pence and it's some of these sets uh, that you can potentially find them in. So again, really worth checking out for that too. So this will be the first two pound coin, the, uh, the single metal one before it became a bimetallic coin in 97. Where's the coin? There it is. So this was to mark the Commonwealth Games in 1986. It's an interesting pack, I'm not quite sure what it is. Director, essential for industry. Oh, it's just a 1996 annual coin set. So these will be brilliant and circulated. Again, a fantastic range of coins. The, um, single metal two pound coin for the uh, European football competition was a pretty cool coin and the round pound was the Celtic Talk, lovely. We've got 1995's annual set here, which this one includes the Peace Dove two pound coin, another really nice designed coin. Moving on to 2005's annual set, so what have we got here? Dictionary 50 pence, Guy Fawkes two pound coin, another of the Bridges round pounds, lovely stuff. This is the 2007 Diamond Wedding Anniversary Crown, obviously the Queen and Prince Philip's Diamond Wedding Anniversary. Lovely picture of the couple there. And there is the coin. It's a really beautiful design, uh, one of the windows of the uh, Westminster Cathedral where they were married. And then a lovely dual portrait of the couple too. And then the last from this handful, we've got some fireworks for 2005. Just another annual BU coin set. Let's have a look at another big box. So it looks to be another executive proof set. Could it be a 2009 one though? Ah, 2005. Well, there we go. Lovely coin set, uh, Lord Nelson and the Battle of Trafalgar, as well as some other coin designs that we've seen uh, in the previous collections so far. Got a handful of what could be silver proof coins here. We start with the VE Day anniversary, silver proof two pound coin. We know what this one's going to be, the last round pound in silver proof. Well, there we go, a really lovely design and could have been the definitive design on the new pound coin, but uh, this wasn't quite as good as the one that they chose, but they liked this one so much, they minted it on the last round pound coin. Mystery red box next. Uh, it looks like it's got scouts, you can see the packaging or the certificate of authenticity. Silver proof. 50 pence there. Really beautiful design and seeing it in the crisp silver proof is beautiful. And then this one I'm not quite sure about. Ah, silver proof PA Ford, 20 pence coin. That's from 1982. Very nice. Got a handful of what I assume are proof coin sets. So we have got 1990s proof coin set with a crowned leak as you round pound in that. 
2010. Some more lovely commemoratives. We've got the Restoration of the Monarchy, Belfast and London round pound coins, uh, Florence Nightingale two pound coin, girl guiding 50 pence along with all the definitives as well. 1993, we've got the Coronation Anniversary five pound coin there. Ooh, well, there we go. EU Presidency 50 pence. This is 1992's proof set. So this coin is a fascinating coin because there were less of these coins minted for circulation than the Kew Gardens 50p. Now naturally it's a larger, older style 50 pence, so no longer actively in circulation. But it's interesting that the Kew Gardens 50p uh, is worth more to a collector than one of these, which they were actually less minted. So it just goes to show that popularity and intrigue does add to the value of a coin. Another handful of BU coins. We start with the Prince of Wales 60th birthday commemorative crown. There he is. Obviously now King Charles III, but at this point, Prince of Wales. We've got the 60th anniversary of the Queen's coronation in 2013 with a five pound crown coin. Another one of these 60th birthday crowns. We have already seen one of these 1996 annual sets. We've got the Millennium five pound crown. Which we'll get out and have a little peek. There it is. Superb. Couple of annual sets from 1984. Very cool stuff. Another golden wedding anniversary crown. This is a more recent coin. This is a five pound coin released in 2015 to mark the time where the queen became our longest reigning monarch. And then we've got another Olympic Games five pound coin to mark the start of the Olympic Games. There is a Paralympic Games equivalent too. Another big white box. It is another executive proof coin set. What year are we going to get here? Underneath this great big bit of padding. 2006. We'll keep hunting for a 2009 set. That would be unbelievably cool. So what have we got? We've got Brunel's portrait and achievements, the Archbishop Paddington Station on the two pound coins, the Victoria Cross medals and heroic acts on the 50 pences, another of the four bridges pound coin, and then the Queen's 80th birthday five pound crown. So another handful of these potential silver proof boxes. In this one we have the silver proof pound coin. What year is this one? So it's 1984 this one, the crowned uh, thistles. This is a rather large box, might have a few coins in here. Ah, two bimetallic two pound coins, 1997 and 1998 in there. Lovely. This one's not a mystery, one of the 12 sided pound coins. So yeah, there we have it. Last one from this handful. The abolition of the slave trade. Very cool. Got another handful of proof sets. What have we got here? 1987 with a crowned oak tree on the round pound coin. And the next one. Uh, this is 1988. Very cool. The next one, 1986. We've actually got the single metal Commonwealth Games two pound coin included. Ooh, very nice. So we have got 1989, uh, the two single metal two pound coins. You have the bill and claim of rights. The claim of rights is actually quite a low minted coin as well. So definitely one that you want to get your hands on a fairly rare, especially out of all those single metal two pound coins. Another big white box with another executive proof set. 2006, this one's going to be again. Very nice. Another handful of BU coins. We've got the one pound coin from 2017. I think the design of this packaging is really smart with all the different elements of the coin. From the new pound coin to the last round pound coin, which we saw in silver proof a few moments ago. Then we have a very cool two pound coin, the Olympic Games London to Rio handover. Uh, prior to that, there was the Beijing to London handover two pound coin as well. We then have an interesting commemorative medal, actually from the Royal Mint as well. It's the anniversary of the Titanic, remembered. And it's actually designed by Laura Clancy. If memory serves, she designed the Tutankhamun five pound coin, which has only just come out, along with some of the, uh, well, all of the portraits of Britain collection, as well as some of the James Bond range too. Christopher Ironside here, a lovely coin, um, honoring a gentleman who has designed many, many a coin over the years. And then the Magna Carta two pound coin, always interesting to see these because the ones for collectors, uh, the ones that came out in the brilliant uncirculated packs and the annual coin sets have got Ian Rank Broadley's fourth portrait of the queen on the obverse. Whereas the ones that went into circulation had Jodie Clark's fifth portrait. So interesting coin to look at. There's a couple more of these five pound coins marking the queen becoming our longest reigning monarch. 
another 1994 annual coin set. And then we've got a Prince Philip five pound coin, which I believe came out the year that he retired. Oh yeah, 2017, celebrating a life in service. And the last one in this handful was the last circulating round pound coin uh, before it changed over to the new design in 2017. We've got another big white box. What year are we gonna get here? 2004. So there we go, more lovely coins. I think these are the last of the silverproof coin boxes. We have got a 1997 Britannia 50 pence in silver proof. Might this be another 20 pence? It is, 1982. Oh, this is a silver PA foot one, so it's twice the thickness of a standard silver proof coin. In this mystery green box, we have got a silver PA foot 1992 10 pence. Lovely. Our second green box, uh, silver proof two pound coin, 1994. Ah, oh, so it's the Bank of England. Very nice. So that commemorates the tricentennial, 300 years of the Bank of England. And then the last box, it's a bimetallic two pound coin, 1998, technology's design. Very nice. Our penultimate box is this one, inside here, ah, 2005. So there we go, another host of really fascinating commemorative coins to be had in this set. This is our last handful of brilliant uncirculated coins. This one here is the 2015 Britannia two pound coin. It became the definitive design in 2015, replacing the technology's design. There's another London Olympic Games five pound coin. Queen Victoria, five pound crown. Very nice. A couple more golden wedding anniversary crowns. Different packaging there, I wonder if, oh, inside that's the same. Oh, I see, so this is just sponsored by what was then the Midlands Bank, which is now HSBC, of course. Another single metal two pound coin, oh, that's the Bank of England. We've just seen the silver proof version, and that is the brilliant uncirculated version. We have two brilliant uncirculated round pound coins, the two of the floral coins. We've got the thistle and the bluebell for Scotland, and the flax and shamrock for Northern Ireland. Last circulating pound coin again. And the last brilliant uncirculated coin is another countdown to the Olympic Games. I'm trying to figure out what year this is. Oh, what? It's 2011, so it's one year to go to the Games opening. And then the last bit that's in this part of the collection is whatever is in this big box. It is another executive proof collection. And this is 2007. So in amongst these, we have got the abolition of the slave trade, the act of union, the Scouts 50 pence, Millennium Bridge, and the five pound coin looks to be a one of the, um, oh yeah, so it's the wedding anniversary in 2007, the Queen and Prince Philip. But uh, a lovely set of coins to finish at least this video one. But like I said, we've got, uh, we've got one more video to get through the final part of this collection. What a collection it has been with some amazing rare and scarce coins. I'd be fascinated to know in the comments what's your favorite coin that we found in today's video. Like I said, feel free to contact us if you don't see any of the coins that you're interested on our website or eBay shop. Uh, we can always arrange an agreement uh, by email. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the future uploads like the final part of hunting through this collection of coins. We are also on Facebook and Instagram where you'll see us post lots of pictures of our coins. We're on Twitter and TikTok. We've got our shop and online store, but I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.